Hi. Hi. I don't know if this is the right number. Keith? Uh, excuse me? I'm trying to reach Keith. Do I have the right number? Uh, yeah. Who's who's calling me? My name is from Mm-hmm. Is uh, this Keith? In regards to what? Is this Keith? Yes, it is. Oh, hi. Um, I'm with I'm calling about the open invoice for the rental from um, over a year ago. Uh -huh. I think we had been back and forth, and you said you would make arrangements. You rented time from us. Do you remember? Uh, I, I do. Um, I've since gone back on my promises. I don't want to pay it. Excuse me? I'm not paying. Why? Um, I mean, it's been a year, and nothing's really happened, so... You want something to happen? Nothing I, has I think happened. This is so wrong. You know, Lisa um, re recommended you. You worked on my and she said you were honorable, so we let you use the rental without paying up front. This is such a wrong way to handle it. I mean, this is your reputation in Westchester. I guess that's Lisa's fault, huh? I, I'm so surprised, Keith. I met with you personally. You did not seem like this kind of a person. Is is that all? Yeah, you don't want to make arrangements for even $50 a month or something? You'd rather they pursue it with credit and all that stuff? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to shoot for zero. Oh, man, I, I'm, I'm so surprised at your attitude. Is there any reason? I mean, you know, you're going to ruin it for anybody else who wants to not have to pay up front because I, I won't do this again. But it reflects on, on me and it reflects on my trust in a person. It re you know what? It, it feels like a personal affront for some reason because I'm the one who worked with you and made arrangements for the time. But that doesn't seem to have any meaning to you, does it? No, it does have some meaning. Hopefully you learn your lesson and you won't do this in the, in the future. Wow. Okay. Have a happy life. Bye. Take care.